lot of fun. We spoke with uh, uh, Andrew Martin and in Beijing, and we'll talk to him in a minute. But yeah. first, let's look at the weather. What a fantastic sun sunset that we have out there. That's just gorgeous out there. Oh, the it's gorge. so nice. Yeah, this is uh, coming out of the gorge right now over towards the Dalles. You can see the dam there in the distance. We have bridge, a little bit of everything going on there. Beautiful shot coming out of the Columbia Gorge Community College camera tonight. A lot of folks seeing a wonderful sunset from the Oregon coast extended through the state and we will take it another dry weekend for us and that's going to continue into our Sunday as well. January eight out of the 10 days we had dry weekend days. Only two of those days had a little bit of rain. You might remember last Sunday, but other than that, most of the weekends going back through January have been dry and they've been pretty sunny. All right, I do have some rain in the forecast, but it's really just a quick moving system. I don't think it's going to bring much rain for us here in Portland, but some locations in Oregon and Washington will likely see a little bit of rain. I'll get to the timing on that in just one moment. Fog in the morning, likely sun in the afternoon, definitely extended forecast warm and dry for our February. That's probably going all the way through until probably Valentine's Day. And uh, that might mean that we have an extended stretch here where we're not going to see much rain. That also means we'll probably not see a lot of mountain snow as well. For tomorrow, expect some clouds in the morning. Again, we may see some fog out there. Temperatures down to about 34 degrees, maybe even down to freezing for some spots. We do have sunshine working through as we head into the afternoon. It's going to be another great day to go for a bike ride. Just be outside working in the yard. We're going to see a lot of warm air off towards the Pacific Northwest uh, over the next couple of days. It gets a little cool on Monday. But as we kind of take this out, a big chunk of the United States is going to see their temperatures running a little bit warmer than the average after all that cold air off towards the central section of the state and to the east. Now we're looking at maybe a switch up where we're seeing warmer than average temperatures for a big chunk of the United States. All right, so our normal high now is 50 degrees. I have us right around the mid to upper 50s for tomorrow, especially if we clear through the fog early. We'll see those temperatures warm on up. We do you know, drop a little bit, just a little bit on Monday and Tuesday. And uh, that's going to be a quick little system that arrives on Monday, but then we rebound back. And I think it's definitely possible that we may have some 60 degree temperatures working into the forecast as we head into, you know, maybe next week. And it's only about a 23% chance that we even see 60s in the month of February. So it's going to be definitely above average. We saw that with that temperature departure. All right, high pressure stamped right over here. We have a system up to the northwest, but it's going to avoid us. I'll show you on the future cast what's going on through our Sunday. It's nice and dry. I'll take you to Monday, though. This is our small threat for a little bit of rain. It's going to be a weak disturbance that passes through. Here's Monday morning. Definitely some showers for the northwest Oregon coast there for Clatsop County. Does try to pass into the valley. We may have one or two little isolated showers as we head into Monday afternoon, maybe late Monday night, but then it fizzles off. High pressure takes over and we're going to stay that way for multiple days. Maybe some clouds passing on through, maybe some fog here or there in the morning. But other than that, we don't see much coming in. You can see on Friday there, it's still dry and even pretty sunny out there. Massive ridge going to form over the top of us after our little disturbance here on Monday. You can see that developing right here, and that will leave us nice and sunny as we go towards the end of the week. It's also going to boost our temperatures up. So 55 tomorrow, 49 on Monday. Then I have us warming up to about 60 degrees, weighing on Thursday and Friday and heading into Saturday. So outside of that chance for maybe some rain on Monday, looks like it's going to be dry and it's going to be warm. Wow, very spring-like actually. A little early for that, but yes. we'll take it. All right, next, a number